Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Lizelle. Welcome back to my channel. You're probably wondering why I'm standing in front of my home. I am finally going to do a front room slash dining room reveal for you. You guys have been waiting for so long for a tour and unfortunately I'm not doing a full tour. I'm going to be doing room per room tour. So um, I'm also going to be taking you guys along with me today to sort of decorate for fall for these rooms. So without further ado, let's come inside and let me show you. love them. They have that speckled sort of vintage mid-century flair and I couldn't have been more happy to find them for six dollars. The candle holder, this brass mid-century candle holder, I'm not sure where I got this but I will link something similar in the description box below. And over to my one of my favorite favorite pieces that I feel really sets the mood of this room is this art piece and it's by an Instagram artist from Denmark and he goes by the name of BYC Design Studio. I will put his link down below. He has amazing artwork. This is going to be the first of several that I'm going to purchase from him. So over here, this pottery, I'm into pottery in case you haven't noticed, and I love just the shape of the cylinder and the round bulb of this vase. This one's from Anthropology. They're both from Anthropology. These two are from Anthropology, and I got them off of the, believe it or not, I got them on clearance. I think this big round one was $25, and this one was like $90. Okay, so over to the side of the chair is this amazing black metal light fixture. I purchased this off of Franz and Son. It was actually one of the first purchases I made for the home. I knew immediately that I wanted something mid-century and I wanted to sort of make a statement with the contrasty black lights. And so I have a couple of these throughout the home. And I feel like it works really, really well in this space. It's sleek, it's slim, it doesn't take up a lot of space. Again, I'm keeping with that minimal vibe. All right, so I'm gonna swing over and show you the other side that is opposite to this lamp. It is a small little sort of nook that I have of artwork. And I just have a few pieces here that I'm really not certain if they're gonna stay. Um, I have these beautiful marble candle holders. They're from West Elm. I have my designer 
books here. And again, if you guys catch that last video thrift with me, this beautiful rattan stool I scored for four dollars at a thrift store. Taped it up and I spray painted it black so that it sort of matched the chairs, and they do they do perfectly. Um, this table I got off of Amazon, believe it or not, and it fits great into this space. But for the fall, I want to do something a little bit different, and so today I'm going to take you with me, and we're going to restyle this little section just so that when we walk into the home, it has a little bit more warmth and it's a little bit more inviting. So we're just going to focus on accent pieces to sort of spice up the living room, with, but still keeping it minimal, chic, and sophisticated. Because the last thing I want is to do a lot of decorating. I just want people to feel that it's full in this home and still keep it within my personal aesthetic. All right, guys, so right behind me is the dining room. So it technically, when you walk in, it is a one long room and we sort of separated it into the sitting area and the dining area. And I'm so happy. This is one of my favorite purchases of the home. This table is from Restoration Hardware. It is a black herringbone wood table, and I am so excited to have this. It seats technically 10 people, but I only have eight chairs. And speaking of these beautiful chairs, I want to do a big, big shout out to France and Son for gifting us these beautiful chairs. They just really make the space. They really add so much sophistication to this table, and I mean, it, it just screams my personal style. Like, I really am so happy with these chairs. So this chandelier we also purchased from Restoration Hardware. I know they have similar ones online that you can buy. I feel a lot of people are replicating this same chandelier. Luckily for us, we had a restoration outlet in our area that was going out of business, and so we got a really good deal on this one. Um, so yeah, so you can still find the chandelier through various other retailers. I will link a very similar one down below. But this light picture really just sets the mood of this table. I feel it's enough glam and it's still very minimal. I just love the black um, hardware that goes very well with the black table. Behind me is a piece <laughs> that after three months, this wall has literally been bare. I have nothing. I tried so many things. I've had mirrors up, I had other artwork up. I had my husband do a gallery wall, God bless his heart. I mean, there's still marks up here <laughs> that you can see from when he was measuring for the gallery wall that we will touch up later with some paint. But I actually just scored this art piece, believe it or not, at Home Goods. And this is an actual real painting. I believe now that they are commissioning like artists. They have like a whole new line of really quality artwork. Um, and I believe the artist who did this was Ashley Brooke. I will make sure of that and link it down below. But this is a real canvas um, painting and it's textured and it is real deal. I got a really good price on this. And I feel that it was the right piece because it didn't have a lot of color and it didn't have a lot of pattern. It was minimal but yet chic enough to flow into this room and I'm finally satisfied with this piece here because it took three months to really figure it out and I'm just really happy that this is here. Okay, so on either side of these walls I've kept bare. Again, you can probably see nail marks on both sides because we tried so many things to sort of dress up the space, but every time I put paintings and mirrors and panels and you name it, I had them up on the wall, it just didn't work. I felt like once I removed it, it looked so much better. I feel like the large table, the large artwork, the large pendant already was enough, and I feel like just putting things here just really closed the room in. And so, you guys comment down below if you think I should put something up on these walls or if I should leave them bare, or maybe you have a better idea. Maybe I just didn't think of anything that would be super cool. So comment down below. And that's it guys. That is the end of my front room slash dining room tour. Now let's get in the car and let's go shop.
clearance section. I found this. This is super cool. Crazy, but this is really cool. It's giving me restoration hardware vibes. And guess how much it is? Hey, I'm home. I'm gonna show you everything that I got. Oh my God, this is so heavy. Ugh. All right, so there's, I forgive me for the lack of lighting. I didn't wanna kind of mess with my ring light and pull it out, it's just in the basement. So we have to work with whatever is available right now. I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible before I'm completely in the dark. And if you hear the pitter patter, that's my dog going up the steps. All right, so the first thing, very obvious thing that you probably saw me walking into the room with is this, ugh, this concrete planter. Um, I found this at Kirkland's um, and I am just so happy with it. It is just gonna make a nice addition to the behind the dining room, inside that wall space, inside that window space. Um, in the clearance section, I always, I always look at the clearance section. I found this beautiful mirror. Can you guys see that? Um, I paid $29 for it. It has brass um, and wrought iron details, and I may place it in the space where the, um, little black table is. I'm gonna take down the artwork. Again, I have to play a lot to see how things sort of like, kind of mesh with everything else in here. I also got in the clearance section, you saw me pull this guy out. So like I was saying, um, I feel like it has a restoration hardware vibe. If you look at their decor and how they style their homes, you see many accent pieces that really bring so much rich richness and um, just sophistication to the space. And I feel like you can really change the space up by using the right accent pieces. And I know to some people this may look super corny, but there's something about it just really just stands out to me. And I feel like with some beautiful fashion books, just sort of with it, I feel like it's going to really, really look um, elegant in the space. So. Okay, and in this bag, I scored this beautiful black, like finial accent piece. Again, it has like sort of this French rustic kind of vibe, and I'm all about that. And I got this for $15 on the clearance section. I wasn't just shopping the clearance, I actually found more things, more cute things in the clearance section than on the regular shelves. So it pays to take a look at the clearance section, guys. You never know what's lurking in there. Um, and I think for fall, you know, switching out some of the accent pieces, of course, this is on like, this is definitely my aesthetic. Black, the white, the beige, and gold are all within my color scheme. And so this will still work really beautifully in my home. So I bought these earlier, but I wanted to show you on camera these, um, they're metal pumpkins and they're gold. I know they probably look silver or I don't know, some kind of weird orange shade, but they are gold pumpkins. And I feel like they're not your traditional orange pumpkin. I feel like I'm just going to put two of these. Um, I don't know where. <laughs> we'll figure it out. You're gonna watch me do all of this. Okay, so something else I scored, I walked into Pottery Barn and um, was looking at their fall decor and trying to sort of get an inspiration. Pottery Barn is a little bit more on the rustic, a little country, traditional um, in decor, but every once in a while, there are just some beautiful arrangements and beautiful sort of um, table settings that really capture my eye. And um, I couldn't help but fall in love with these, um, these glass cloche sort of coverings. Um, you can put anything in here. You can put plants, perfumes, a bust, um, you know, you name it, you can put it in here. But this is a really tall one and I feel like, you know, if you're looking for height for like a dresser or a credenza or on your bookshelf, this is such a beautiful piece to add and it has a wooden base. 
and I actually got this on clearance for $23 on goods. This is a gold gilded um, little cloche dish. And this is cute for pastries or, um, I don't know, candy, but also you can put a perfume, a small perfume bottle in here. They just look so elegant, placed on a bookshelf, placed on a table, your dresser. They really add just so much just sophistication to your space. It was $14.99 at Home Goods. Then I was looking for sort of um, branches or some type of floral arrangement, and nothing really sort of kind of grabbed me because I don't really like a lot of color. Um, I sort of like to keep things minimal and very neutral. And so how do you do that and bring the fall into your home? Um, I actually found the cutest little branches. Um, I could totally have gotten these outside in my yard, but not with these little baby pumpkins. And not so minimal, but still very cute. I'm not sure where I'll set these up, but these are these little fig branches. I actually got these at Target. These were on clearance for $3 each, and I just really love I might put these in my kitchen, I'm not sure. So they, you don't see it in the video, they've made another room. <laughs> okay, so now you guys are gonna watch me decorate and figure out where I'm gonna place most of this. So basically I'm just going to warm up the space, make it look sort of cozy and fall. I know it's stark and sort of, as my mom says, looks like a museum in here. And I kinda like that. Um, and it can look like that year round, I'm okay with that. But, you know, I enjoy the holidays and I enjoy fall and so I definitely do feel I can, I can challenge myself to decorate a very artsy minimal space for fall. So, let's see. probably do this part in the morning because the sun has just gone all the way down. I know it doesn't look like it because my um, camera is compensating to light my face up. So it looks brighter outside than it really is. It's not, <laughs> and it's only five o'clock. So I really want the imagery to look beautiful. And so I might just decorate it and then just show you the overall final result tomorrow morning so this is the finished look it is early morning everyone's still in bed and the lighting is so nice i decided to just pull the camera out and show you what it looks like didn't look this nice at night when the light was dark i mean it did but something about like the lighting it just really makes it so 